if we have a subconscious, yeah. then that's where memories are stored. And yeah. some people say it's the physical body that is the subconscious. Yeah. What about a chair? What about um, what we would na maybe call an inanimate object that does not have a subconscious? Yeah. Where does it store its memory? It does have a. This, this thing is alive. This thing is telling me who sat here. All the people who sat here. This thing is telling me where the where the material came from. It's, it's, it's talking to me, and it's just talking. I'm just doing the cleaning. Um, so this chair, like you, has the three selves. It has the has the superconscious, conscious, and subconscious. So it isn't. There's no such thing as an inanimate object. If, for example, you can talk to the camera. You can say to the camera, "How many cameras do you have, um, Alex?" So you can say to the camera, well, we're going to, we're going to tape this guy, um, Hugh Len, so can you, well, what do you think about that? You can talk to the cameras and the camera will tell you. Mm, I don't know about that. And then, then let's say he knew how to do the cleaning and they said, well, let's, let's do the cleaning. And so he does the cleaning and maybe the camera will change his mind. So when photographers say the camera loves you, they're speaking uh, more than they know. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. Even I had a, we, to show you how, how goofy this thing can be, I had a, a friend of mine who married a guy who wasn't doing very well in the, in the, in the construction business. And then when like 40,000 he made, and then maybe three years later after she married him, he, he made three million. But she, she knew that her job was to to work on all of the projects, talk to all of the projects. And so one day he was having trouble, I think putting up a scaffold or something. And so she did the cleaning and she heard the nails. She heard the nails and said, we, we just can't get along. <laughs> can't get along. So if you can't get nails to even get along, then you can't put up a scaffold, you know. Then the scaffold won't work. So the idea is you have to be able to talk to everything. Get them ready, like little children. You have to say, okay, here we're starting a new project. Here's the address. Here, and then you you begin the pro you begin the cleaning right away, and then the right subcontractors will show up. I mean, and the, the right banking will show up. The right whatever. But it, everything is alive. Yeah, okay. So everything has the three selves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen the kind of. Um process happen that you're describing where everything just drops into alignment with the plan. But um, uh, how is it, uh, would you encourage everyone to learn to have the facility that you have of talking to furniture and talking to a plan and talking to all the forces well, that go into making well, something work? I, I, whoever shows up over the weekend and at this lecture, I'm going to is that what talk you're about that. Talking about? Yeah, but I'm not going to get yell at the rest of the world. Say, come on, come on! I have something I'm going to tell you about that you you could really use. That that's um, that's an imposition. Yeah, um, yeah, it's an imposition. It's not a gift. It's an imposition. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. My job is to is to do my cleaning, and and then if I'm if I do my cleaning and get back to zero, everybody will get back to zero. So I'm, that's my that's the only purpose I'm here. And then people show up because they would like to, however they've heard it, and they would like to know more. I'm willing to do that because I can get more people to clean, then I, I'm going to have more enlightenment, huh? Great. <laughs> as, as opposed to my, my light bulb going, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> my children say, Dad, your light's out. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> Are there certain activities that you engage in in life that help you to get to zero more than others? Yeah, like eating, the, eating cleaning foods, drinking liquids that are cleaning, um, plant, having plants in your, in your environment that clean, of course. When you are doing uh, cleaning, are you going into an altered state of consciousness? No. You're just uh, doing it from your conscious mind and trusting that. Well, I'm, I'm hoping I'm, I'm doing it consciously, but I'm hoping I've.
talk to my subconscious, who is a computer bank, that, that the subconscious has been, has heard me enough, I've fallen in love with it, and has said, has asked it, please help me with the cleaning. And so I've, I've downloaded every information that I know about the cleaning, and so my subconscious knows it, and it will do the cleaning. Mm -hmm. Are there any guides or angels that help one with cleaning? If you eat blueberries, for example, blueberries erase memories and open up angelic kingdoms. Uh, yeah. Could you speak to us a little about angelic kingdoms? Um, what would you like to know? <laughs> um, are there levels to them? Do they interact with uh, humans? I don't know those things. I, I, don't, I don't know that route. All I know is one day I was cleaning years ago and um, they said, why don't you try blueberries? I, okay. <laughs> And I said, well, what do you say? I said, well, I could see the angelic kingdom. And, and then that was it. The discussion ended. I didn't hear whether they were leveled and they were stretched down. And I didn't hear any of that. Do you mean like nature spirits when you speak of angels? I don't know what that is. Like they, people say that there are little people that are guardians of plants and the, and the earth? No, I'm talking about angelic kingdom. Other, other universes, other dimensions that open up, stretch open. You eat, a, you eat one blueberry, just just stretches, and your mind goes, wow. Yeah, and you may not be conscious of it. That's the 11 million for which you're not conscious. Right. And it's different with blackberries than blueberries. Oh, I don't know about blackberries. I know blueberries. I know strawberries, those things. Strawberries, for example, deal with women's hatred for men. Lots there, you know. That's right. I, I remember. Really <laughs> I forgot all about that. Why don't you tell us a little bit about women's hatred?